um, this is Yusuf, uh, this is to, um, I think her name's, it looks like Punky, but it's like Prun, Prunky or something like that, I don't know, um, thank you for getting in on a conversation, um, because I offered that, uh, question to everyone, I sent you a video, um, the latest video that I made, well, obviously this will be the latest if it uploads, um, hopefully, uh, and I think, actually, listening to Francis Schaefer does a great job, or Frank Schaefer does a great job of uh, probably communicating a lot of this stuff to Protestants, because, you know, my background, it's a mix of Islam and Catholicism. Um, but the, um, there's something, yes, no, there's no, we oppose anything of co-mediatrix or co-redemptrix or any of that stuff or any other mediator except Christ. Christ is the only, is, you cannot get to the Father except through the Son. He is the only, he is the only door. Um, but I think one main point where Protestants are missing is that when they say, well, we don't believe in praying to the saints, we are praying with the saints. Um, and when we say intercessions, Protestants use the same thing too. Um, when you ask somebody else to pray for you, or when you pray for someone else, uh, when Christ said, you know, he was talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he says, you know, they are because they are alive. So, the saints are alive. They are living. Uh, and uh, we can say, pray for us. Um, just like I can ask you, you ask me to pray for you, and I will, and I hope you pray for me. And that's the exact same thing with the saints. Now, we're not praying to each other. No. Um, once you begin, once you elevate anything, whether it's an angel or a saint or anything, to the level of God, then that's idolatry and that's the main concern that we have with this right here um, in the video infant baptism um, I think I label it infant baptism destroys Sola Scriptura um, it's funny the Apocrypha that's one line in one book out of many books of the Apocrypha that were pulled out um, and the Protestants, I have to say, do believe that. They do believe that you can ask other people to pray for you, and they do believe that those who would run the race in good faith are alive with God. Um, Christ said, this day you will be with me in paradise to the thief on the cross. Um, the Bible actually does not back up. There's, there's, there's no list in the Bible where we get the books of the Bible <laughs> that... that that, that this list in the front was actually, where is it, um, this right here doesn't come from the, uh, this wasn't in here, um, so if you say s scripture alone, but then you eviscerate it, you do like Martin Luther did and take out the book of James, or you do like, you know, um, the Calvinists, or it was the Anglicans that took out the Apocrypha, um, Martin Luther kind of tried to, he was the first to suggest it, um, <clears throat> and it's, it's not apocrypha, it's part of the Septuagint, the, um, the writers in the New Testament quoted from the Greek, um, and, uh, <clears throat> the, that was the Septuagint, and that's what, uh, the apostles used, and all the early Christians used. Uh, also a thing with Sola Scriptura is that the writers of um, in Second Peter and in Jude, they even go outside of the Septuagint, and they quote um, Jubilees and Enoch, which are heretical writings. But they use them in reference when they're talking to the communities that would know these things. Now, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church holds Jubilees and Enoch. Um, yeah, I believe both of them. Uh, each church each there is only one church um, each uh, see 
Uh, some seeds are still around, some have faded away. I'm Antiochian, some some trace their line back to Constantinople, some to Jerusalem. Uh, and then the other ones that were founded, like the, uh, Japan and uh, Russia, Rush, Japan from Russia. Um, the, there was different collections. Um, now, for the first 40 years, at least, or some may say 30, there was no there was no New Testament writings. Uh, I think I'm repeating a lot of the stuff that uh, I said in the infant baptism video, so I'll just watch that one. I sent that to you. Uh, <coughs> but I really must stress this Sola Scriptura thing is, is um, if you're going to use Sola Scriptura, you have to go by the Septuagint. Um, you'd have to use Judith and Tobit and uh, Wisdom of Ben Sirach and Ecclesi uh, Ecclesiasticus, um, First Maccabees, and Second Maccabees is the one that you have. And I would actually urge you to go back and read that. Read what it what it actually says um, about that because it's not. It might not be as you seem. the The whole thing is the. We do not accept original sin. We don't see it as biblical. We don't believe in penal substitution um, or uh, substitutionary atonement. Um, it's also called satisfaction. We don't believe in uh, limited atonement. Uh, in uh, First Timothy, it tells us to Paul tells us to rely on the traditions of the church, not the traditions of men. And the tradition of the church is scripture. There is no tradition versus scripture. The way you defined uh, faith is correct. Faith is active. Even the demons believe in God, but faith is walking, putting one foot in front of the other and is an active thing, and you bear fruit from it. So faith and works are no different from each other. That's why when the Orthodox look at the Roman Catholics and the, some of the hardcore Protestants bicker about these kind of things, it's um, it's kind of mind blowing of like, wait, how did how did that get missed? Uh, but you seem to have a totally correct understanding of it. Um, here's one thing. Um, this is in First Timothy. Um, but in case I am delayed, I write so that you will know one ought to conduct himself in the household of God which is the church of the living God, the pillar and support of truth. So you get your truth from the church, which gave us this writing, and it, they, there was no such thing as the New Testament until uh, 367 AD, um, which the church had been going for 300 years just fine. Now, there were some of these writings around, um, that's true, but anything like this, any any canon, any com compilations of scriptures you'd look at would have the Didache, would have Shepherd of Hermas, and would have uh, First Barnabas, First Clement, um, would have a lot less books than that. In many cases, uh, Revelation of John was excluded, Revelation of the Apocalypse of John was excluded, the, the Apocalypse of Peter was in, Jude hotly contested, 2nd Peter hotly contested, 3rd John hotly contested, James hotly contested, Hebrews hotly contested. Uh, so these, um, <clears throat> the, the, I think the thing is that we, have, we rely um, the sacraments, there's either only one sacrament or there's infinite amount of sacraments. But we still, that's trying to put it in a Western context, we call them mysteries. And if we're going to go by a Catholic definition of sacraments, then there's an endless amount of them because you can interact with God at any point. So there are mysteries that are handed down to us like baptism. And when the West tries, to, we hold them as mysteries. We do not explain them. Do you need to be baptized to be saved? Well, a Christian is baptized. You get, ba I mean, we could cite the example of the thief on the cross, which I did in the video, and we can cite um, 
you know, the, the Roman official uh, that I talked about in the gospel, but th these things aren't, aren't contested. You, you are baptized. You take the Eucharist. Um, and they're not to be explained because we don't know. Uh, Francis Schiffer talks about, well, how can this small child take, take the Eucharist? Um, it's the West calls it communion. Eucharist just means thanksgiving. Uh, because Christ said, you know, do this in remembrance. And <clears throat> the, uh, his priest said, do you know what that is? And he goes, well, not fully. It's, it's a mystery. So in, in many ways, the small child is better to take the Eucharist because they don't have all these mis these preconceptions and hang-ups and intellectual things. And Christ told us to be as children. And when we are accepting the gifts from him and the gifts from God, we are to be as 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 children, and it, in scripture, it's actually infants is being fed as infants. Um, the big problems that we have about um, Calvinism and the additions of the, the Roman Catholic Church started out at its fundamental base fine because the church in Rome was a good church and suffered many martyrs. And that's one thing I got to commend you with is that um, if you're suffering for Christ, you're doing something right. Uh, that's that is the path of orthodoxy. <clears throat> the uh, the church in Rome was was fine and was good, um, but when it started, when the Pope started saying, "Well, I'm the bishop of all the world," and when Augustine came up with all these ideas and Anselm and Aquinas and the, the transubstantiation and the merit box, the saints, and now you have comediatrix. It's not officially in there, but people say it's coming, especially people like Mitch Pacwa. And then even on the other side, uh, with Calvinism and Calvin's fi five points of limited atonement and total depravity, those are traditions of men. Those were created by man. Uh, the Roman Catholic Church took Aristotelian logic and applied it uh, to the mysteries of God. Um, and then John Calvin, instead of re relying as the church of the pillar is truth, and he was actually trying to do that. If you would, if you would see modern, modern Protestant faction, how it is, he'd be horrified. Um, that the uh, that once you once you substitute the traditions of the apostles and Christ for the traditions of the tr traditions of man, you've gone off. Now I won't. I'm not going to condemn anybody because um, the spirit goes where it wills, and uh, many people meet Christ in the desert, in the wilderness. Um, but uh, when we're talking about sola scriptura, sola scriptura can't possibly be real. I mean, it's, it is real, but it is a real tradition of man. Um, because the church was the one that put these, these books together. Um, and it's, it, it's the, the Roman Catholic Church is a, especially a huge stumbling block when talking to Protestants, because that's their only reference point. Um, and I know you said you were raised uh, Roman Catholic, so I, I'm, I'm just, just now you are um, uh, Protestant, but the, uh, this is an off-the-cuff thing. I should have had the thing in there, but I, I sent you the video. I want you to check that out. But I would urge people to follow the traditions of the apostles and the New Testament. This is part of the tradition. This is not, this is the tradition that had been written down. So we were told to hold to what we were taught and what was written to us. Um, and even the Jews had an oral tradition, and Christ actually cites the oral tradition when he says about divorce, and he says, yes, but you have known there's only, you know, that divorce is only granted um, in, un in cases of unchastity. Uh, so just as there was the covenant in the past, we're under the new covenant. Um, <clears throat> and Christian worship, that's the one great thing about the Eastern Orthodox Church is that you go anywhere and it's exactly the same. Francis Schaeffer specifically points this out, that that was his greatest despair in Protestantism, is that, you know, you couldn't just say, well, you know, after a Billy Graham mission, you know, we'll go and find your local church because who knows what's there. But in the Eastern Orthodox Church, even if the priest is mean or a jerk, or I and mean, there's times I don't like certain priests or whatever, but that all stops once you get to the iconostasis. Um, once you get there, 
everything behind that is clean. And the church, the, the, the priest has no, he's not the vicar of Christ, has no authority to change anything that the traditions have passed down. So the hymns that you were singing are identical to those that were sung in the third century. It's, I mean, any, any type of, of um, I mean, it's, even in my video, I'm, well, this is the end. I'll watch the other video before we watch this. Peace.